Folks at the NFTA are grieving today with the death of one of their colleagues described to us as a very popular and a very beloved employee. We're all devastated. NFTA police are still trying to piece together what led up to the tragedy that occurred at around 6 this morning when the paratransit bus ended up on its side on the ramp. We are told that 60-year-old Shakita Smith, who trained other drivers, was declared dead at the scene. According to police, she was not the driver of the vehicle. The driver and one passenger on board suffered what are described as non-life-threatening injuries. We have an accident investigation unit that's uh, that was on scene, uh, led by Lieutenant Jordan Lambert, and that's their job, is to piece together exactly what happened. And so, uh, at this time, we, we don't know what, what occurred. The investigation will look into a host of possibilities, including but not limited to whether the paratransit bus was cut off, whether the driver being trained made an error, or suffered a medical emergency, or if there was a mechanical problem with the vehicle. There are many, many details that need to be explained. And again, we're just, we're, you know, hours into this and there's just so much um, to uncover. So we need to let our investigators kind of do their job and, and not speculate as to what took place. According to an NFTA spokesperson, Shakita Smith leaves behind a very large family of her own, including numerous brothers and sisters, all of whom have now been told of her tragic passing. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.